Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, on today's episode, we're going to be going over how to install the uh, plastic earbuds here on the form. Uh, I've got a couple here. I was going to show you what they look like. They'll come in a package like this from your taxidermy supply company. They come in a plastic bag. Also, the ear liners, plastic ear liners. And uh, you can get these from several different uh, taxidermy supply companies. Uh, I got, got them here out of the pack. Uh, here's what the ear liner you you've seen in the if you watch my deer uh, hide prepping video and the deer mounting video i go over how to install these ear liners into the ears uh it's very simple and there's not a lot whole lot uh, to do you just got to make sure you use a good adhesive so you don't have no good drumming but if you look at these ear liners they're anatomically correct they got the uh, they take the place of the cartilage that you're removing if you'll see you got the the detail in the back of the ear here you can see how the the, the, the ear liner flays out here uh they got a lot of inner detail inside of them and then this is your ear butt your plastic ear butt this is we're going to be uh, mounting this deer with the uh ears uh turned back they're going to have, they'll be laid back like like this right here uh today i'm going to be going over and showing you how i install them the method i use i'll take a, a drywall screw i'll countersink it here in the uh, ear butt itself and then inside this uh, form, there's a wood block here. We'll be screwing into that wood block, and that'll secure your ear into place. So uh, y'all stick around here. I'm going to uh, set the camera up over here and show you how I countersink into this plastic. And uh, so I'll be right back with you. All right, guys. I got the uh, ear butt sitting up here on the table. And uh, I don't know if you can tell in the video, but I got a, a, a hole drilled in the table here. And what I'll do is, the reason there's a hole in this table, once I drill through this plastic, I want that drill bit to go through, or this uh, drywall screw to go through this hole so it don't pull itself down into the wood. So uh, what you're going to do is just take uh, just your regular old drywall screw. It's, it's an inch and a quarter long, I believe. And I'll, what I'll do, I'll take my drill, and right here on the front, right here on the front of this ear butt, you'll see where this muscle comes in. I always like to try to put mine in right here because you got to remember, you have to stay high on this ear butt for it to hit the wood on that form so you're going to put your drill bit in there or you put your screw in there and just start screwing it in and be careful hold on to this real tight because if it grabs it'll, it'll kind of twist your, twist your thumb up just get it over your hole here on the table All right, now we're inside of that hole. As you can see, the screw's all the way through. So stick it back down the hole. What you want to do is once you get it drilled down in here, you want to turn your drill on uh, high speed, and it'll actually, it'll, it'll, it'll kind of, the, the head will countersink itself in just from the, the screw cutting itself into the plastic. And it don't take just a second. It'll 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 countersink itself down inside of there. As you can see here, it's just it just kind of makes a little divot. Just be careful because that screw will get hot to the touch, and you might see a little bit of smoke come out, but it's no big deal. But once you do that, stick it back down in the hole here on the table. Put your drill in and hold on to it real tight so it don't spin you so it don't spin out of your hand. And sometimes you may have to set up on the table to make it back itself out. Now your hole is countersunk, so your screw will be down flush. All right, I'm going to move the camera back over here, and I'm going to show you how I install it on the form. All right, guys. As you can see here on the form, right here is where your earbud's going to go. You, they got it molded into the form. Uh, if you have, some forms have little high spots on them here. For, for like if you're using clay, you can clay them in. What you'll have to do, you'll have to take a knife and maybe a file or rasp and rasp down. You want this flat so that the bottom of this ear butt will sit flat on this form. And this is very simple, easy to use. If you look here to the back of the form or the back of the ear butt, the form will contour to this ear butt and kind of, it'll kind of show you, it's like a map, it'll show you where you need to set it on the form. Once you get it set on there, Take your drill, come in here, and you want to 
screw this into that wood block on this phone. Once you get that screwed in, you just want to look here. Just make sure everything looks lined up. And uh, then you want to take a knot, sometimes just kind of test fit it. Stick the ear liner down in there, kind of give you an idea where it needs to go. That's pretty simple. Uh, the only other thing I'll do different is when I'm mounting the deer where the screw is right here in the screw hole, I'll just put a little bit, little bit of clay over that screw head right there and kind of kind of blend all that in together. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put the other side on here now and then I'll pop the ear liners in. Y'all can get a good look and see what it looks like. So I'll be right back with you. All right, guys, I got both uh, ear butts installed here. Uh, just to kind of give you an idea of what they look like here, you know, you got it, they're, they're flushed in with the head. We got them lined up with the contours of the form here. Uh, once the, I won't put these on until after I get the skull plate up here mounted on the top. And uh, once you get that on, then you can kind of get everything lined up. Like I said, just make sure you get the contour lines here on your ear butt lined up your form. And everything should flow nice. Like I said, this, I mean, I can turn this around and give you a look at it. What you see here. I mean, everything just is smooth right in here. Everything lined up nice. Uh, I just thought I'd do this video because I've had some people ask some questions about some of the earbuds and stuff here on the channel. So uh, this is real simple to use. It's uh, it's real quick. Uh, I like this system. Once you get these screwed into this form uh, and get these ears slid down here and locked in, once that hide and everything is on, you got everything sewed up. I mean, these ears, they're, they're not going anywhere. They're locked in. I mean, once they, especially once, like I said, once you get the hide on, get it pulled together, uh, you don't have to worry about putting no wires or nothing in the ears. Um, and uh, you just might want to keep an eye on it for the next couple of days just to make sure everything's drying up. Uh, when I put these ear liners in the skin, I will, I'll make sure that the epoxy sets up before I ever start trying to, you know, mount it and move them in. Because if you're not careful, if you, if you, if you put your ear liners in and you don't let your epoxy set up, you can go ahead and mount the deer. You just want to make sure that you kind of babysit the ear skin because I've done it a couple of times and you'll, you'll, you'll get the skin out of place and you'll have to go back and kind of tweak on a little bit and get your hair patterns and stuff lined up here inside your ears and on the edges because you want some good clean crisp edges once this dries. <clears throat> All right, guys, that's going to do it for the uh, ear butt video here and the ear liner video. I uh, hope you got a little something out of this. If you got any questions, uh, just shoot me a message here on uh, YouTube. And uh, if uh, if you would, if you haven't hit that subscribe button, hit that subscribe button and uh, give this video a like. And also hit that bell, that bell, bell to notify you when I got more video and content available here on the channel. Uh, stay tuned. I've got a lot more videos planned. I got a lot in production. Uh, we're going to be going over doing some uh, doing the salting of the hide. I've done got some hide prep videos started. Uh, and then we're going to get into uh, actually fleshing the hides and we're going to get into uh, the methods I use for tanning them. So if you're interested in doing taxidermy, y'all come back here and check out my channel. And like as, as always, thanks for watching and God bless.